not in the mood. You dare have the guts to say that now? You're such a disgrace. Why do you always cause him such grief? How could you let this happen to him? I'm warning you, he's also my father! If you really thought that way and cared about his health, then you shouldn't have let Yechi inside. I specifically ordered security to keep her outside. Do you think I'm that stupid? Who else would do this, huh? If it hadn't been for you, Zillium, Dad wouldn't have known about this and ended up in the hospital! <sighs> Listen carefully. The one who's been deceiving us is your fiance! Mito is the one to blame for this! How dare you show up! Look at what you've done to my father! Get out of here! Get lost! Xiaoliang, I'm sorry. I didn't think it would go this far. I'm so sorry. I don't want to talk to you right now. Please go. But Xiaoliang... Stop talking to me. I don't want to hear your voice. If you're really sorry, then walk away and leave me alone. I know you're very angry right now. I'll wait for you over there. When the chairman regains consciousness, I will leave immediately. I don't know. He's supposed to be at the party. How did this happen? Please tell me. I need to know. How is he? He's what happened? On. We won't know until later. What did we do for us to deserve this? Since that Miduo came into our lives, your dad's had several mishaps. Watch your words. My father's still in there. I don't want to argue with you now. That's surprising. Since when did you care for your father's welfare, Xiaoliang? Did you ask yourself? Why this happened to him, huh? Had it not been for that wretched woman, your father would probably still be up and about. Mom, let's talk about this later. Let's just wait. We'll know the result very soon. Okay? <sighs> Doctor. Doctor, how's my how father he? doing? His condition is stable for the moment. However, I can't say how long he will stay that way. What do you mean? The patient underwent heart surgery not too long ago. With your father's current condition, further treatment is not advisable. Whether he regains consciousness or not depends on how well his body heals itself. It all depends on his will to survive. Doctor, are you saying that uh, all we can do now is to wait? Doctor, please save him. Please do everything you can to save him. Save Don't him, worry. Please. We will try our best, madam. <laughs> Huh? It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> the patient is awake. He wants to see you. Try not to upset him. Call me if anything happens. Okay, thank you. Dad, you're finally awake. I'm glad you're fine. Father, just hang in there. You'll be fine. You've always been strong. The first time you fell ill, I remember you insisted that you didn't need me to take care of you. You were like a lofty mountain. Nothing could ever shake you at all. But look at you now. You're frail and weak. I know I am to blame. Just get up and yell at me. Pick on me like you did before. And say to me, you let me down again. Just get up, Dad. Don't just lie there. Xiaoliang, enough! Don't you see? He just woke up. We must not upset him! <sighs> Father, you must overcome this. I promise you, as long as you can stand up again, I will do anything you want me to. I won't disobey you again. You entrusted me with the Tessiro, but I always made you feel anxious. Father, as long as you're by my side, I swear I'll behave the way you want me to. Just give me another chance. No, Xiaoliang. You're mistaken. I never told you this, my son. But I've always been so proud of you. Xiaoliang, after your mom left, I promised to take good care of you. 
but I failed to do that. I've always felt guilty about this. Now that you're all grown up, you have become so capable and excellent. Son, I'm so very proud of you. <laughs> I'm the one who should feel guilty, Father. Because I fell in love with the wrong woman. And I ignored your advice. So now, you're here in the hospital because of me. I shouldn't have loved Midua in the first place. It's all my fault. Oh, no, son. You can't blame her for what happened to me. The truth is, I knew about Midua's cosmetic surgery from the very beginning. I asked her a long time ago to keep this secret from you forever. <sighs> I didn't want you to know anything about it and just live a long and happy life together with her. It pains me so much to see you suffer like this. Remember, Shaoliang, I was never mad at you. All I wanted was to care for you, my son. Dad, are you saying that you knew this all along? And you helped Miruo keep her secret? Shaoliang, keep in mind everyone has a secret. More often than not, we like to keep it to ourselves in order to protect the ones we love. Now is the perfect time to learn how to forgive others. Please promise me that you won't hate Miduo, okay? I don't want to see you spend your whole lifetime hating someone. I won't forgive her for this. I don't understand why you helped her deceive me. It cost me to hurt you a lot. None of this would have happened without her. I will never forgive her. Shaoliang! 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 Son! Dad! Shaoliang! Dad! Please calm down. Dad, you need to rest, okay? Leave me alone. Tell your brother to come back. I need to speak to Shaoliang. Call him, hurry! So all this time, you only cared about him. How long is it going to take for you to show me some affection the way you do for him? What do you need me to do to make you care for me a little and treat me as your own flesh and blood? <sighs> Zilyang. Why are you still here? I just want to know how the chairman's doing. Is he doing okay? How dare you even show up here? Don't you know you're the reason for all of this? You don't have the right to be here! Go home! If shouting and swearing at me will make you feel better, then I won't stop you. I'm sorry. After everything you've done, do you think... You can make up for it by saying sorry? Miruwa. <laughs> no, wait. That Miruwa I was marrying doesn't exist. You're Mimi Lee. That crafty woman who knew me and wanted to sleep with me. You had plastic surgery. Just so you could get close to me. You pretended to be simple and innocent. To deceive me and make me fall in love with you. Am I right? You're wrong. It's not like that. If not for Yechi, I would have been played like a fool. How long did you plan to keep this secret? A lifetime? Are you satisfied now? I never planned on playing you for a fool. 
I always wanted to tell you about my operation, but every time I tried, I couldn't say a word. I don't know why. The more I loved you, the more cowardly I became. The day we got engaged, I remember you saying to me that I can tell you anything about me. So I decided to write you a letter explaining about my secrets in detail. I don't know why you never received it. Believe me, I didn't want this to happen. This isn't how it's supposed to be. <sighs> Xiao Liang, please, there must have been some confusion. You can ask the doctors and nurses. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to deceive you at all. I had every intention of telling you everything about my past life. You're very good at making excuses for yourself, aren't you? Do you find it very difficult to be honest with me? From the very beginning of our relationship, I've told you many times that what I hate the most is deception and betrayal. I've given you so many chances, but you didn't tell me. You kept fooling me. You even asked my family and my friends to help you betray me. Everything about you is fake, yet you want me to believe you? But my love for you is real. That's why I wrote you that letter to let you know about my past. I can't trust you anymore. Listen to me. I don't want to waste my time trying to figure out everything you're telling me. Now I know what happened between us is bogus. The person I love...
I never regretted raising you. I consider you my own. <sighs> what did you say? You're not thinking clearly. I intended to keep you from knowing about this. I'm so sorry. You wouldn't have been in such agony if you hadn't known about your real background. What did you say? I can't believe what I'm hearing. Please tell me again. Do you mean you knew all along that I'm not your real son? <sighs> huh? You were raised by me, Ziliang. How could I not know about you? I didn't tell anyone about it. I was hoping to... make it up to you somehow, and to your mother as well. You see... I was never in love with your mother, but at least I could help her bring you up properly. That was... One way for me to make amends to her. No. That's impossible. If you knew all along that I'm not your real son, you would have driven me out. You're lying to me. Ziliang, I'm your father. Why would I want to drive you away from our family? <gasps> Then why did you keep this a secret from me? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Huh? You made me hate you so much! <laughs> Ziliang... Even though Xiaoliang is my real flesh and blood, he never showed me that he loved me or cared for me at all. However, I watched you grow up to be a fine young man. You might get jealous of your brother sometimes, or you might make some mistakes, but you, you treated me with devotion. <laughs> I used to scold you very often, didn't I? Saying, I disinherit you, but how could I possibly do that? <laughs> Please don't take it against me, because I never thought of you as an outsider. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. Hmm. It was my fault. Dad, why did you do this? Why did you hide this from me? Why didn't you tell me earlier? My son, <laughs> people make mistakes. I was afraid of hurting you. Zilliam, I'm running out of time. After I'm gone, promise me you will reconcile with your brother and live a happy and fulfilling life. Dad? 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 Oh my god, Dad! Nurse! Nurse! Father, get me. away from him! Father! Father! I'll get the father. doctor! I'll get the doctor! Father, wait, Dad is unconscious! Father! Doctor! Father. Doctor! Father! Father, wake up! Father! Father! Why wouldn't you let me see you one last time? Father! Wake up! Father, please! This is your fault! Oh, father. This happened because of you! How dare you go up here! Get out of here! I said get out! Get out of here! Get out! Father. Leave us alone! Get out of our lives! Stop it, both of you! My father just died, so stop making a scene! Let you in here. I just wanted to see the chairman one last time. Shut your mouth! Don't you dare mention anything about my father, not a word! I'm sorry. I didn't realize that things would end up this way. 
It's too late for an apology, Miro. But the chairman was well aware of my cosmetic surgery. He even forgave me a long time ago. I didn't have any clue that it would be exposed to the public. That's why I hate you so much. If you didn't ask my father to help you, I wouldn't have quarreled with you. I would have stayed by his side and seen him one last time. I can't blame anyone else for this but you. I went out of his room just now and didn't make it back in time. Do you have any idea how much my father meant to me? He was the man I respected and loved the most! Yes, I know. I feel your pain, Xiao Liang. But you don't have to go through this tragedy alone. If you find it hard to accept what happened, I'll always be around for you. Is it so hard for you to understand? It's over between us. I don't even want to see you anymore. Xiao Liang, I love you. I do not plan on having cosmetic surgery on my face. I was involved in a fatal accident, and my face was completely ruined. It was something that had to be done, that's why I look like this now. I've become prettier. I've become better. I want to be close to the man I love. Tell me what's wrong with that. We have been together for a while now. Except for this new face I was given. I hope you realize that everything else about me is real. I love you very much, Xiao Liang. Have you forgotten? You told me a few days ago that you wanted to marry me. That day you also told me that you loved me and you wanted me to be your wife. I do not hope for that now. And no, I don't want to be your wife anymore and I don't need you to love me. I just want to stay by your side so I can continue to see you and be with you. Xiao Liang, please, I'm begging you, think about the meaningful times we've spent together. Think about all the things that the two of us have gone through together. All those ups and downs, all those days in South Korea, when we had to work hard just to make a decent living. Can't you take that into consideration and forgive me even just a little bit? If you can't do that, I'll understand. But can't you treat me like any other stranger you meet on the streets? Please don't hate me too much. <laughs> Yes, you're right. In my eyes, you're indeed a stranger. <laughs> From now on, I don't want to see you again. No matter how much you persuade or beg me, I don't want to hear your voice. The way I see it, you're just another malicious and glib-tongued swindler. Because in my heart, the Mito I loved has passed away with my father. No, Shaolian, I'm not dead. I'm right here. Mido was dead to me! <laughs> Stop pretending that you're Mido. She's the only one whom I love and would lay down my life for, but you're the person I hate the most. I wish she could come back to life, and I wish she could disappear. see this? There's nothing left for me. <laughs> After mom left without me, I thought I would never get over those dark days. I thought you were the one responsible for breaking our family apart. I hated you and avoided you. Even when you were sick, I wouldn't take care of you in the hospital. But that was because I got used to it. I felt that even if everyone left me, you'd always be around. I guess I was wrong. 
I thought no matter how stubborn I was, you'll always be by my side to reason with me. Father, why did you leave me so soon? Am I destined to live my life alone? I should have talked to you while I had the chance. But it's too late now, isn't it? No matter how many times I call you, you won't see me again. No matter how hard I beg you, you won't meet me again. Right, Father? And Mido, whom I loved so deeply, has gone away with you. I wish I was the one who left with you, Father. At least we could be together. And I wouldn't be all alone. Father, please. If you still love me, give me a reason to live. Can, can you do that? Please, I'm begging you. Mr. Shao, there's a woman who wants to see you. I said I don't want to see anyone right now. Young, it's me. Sorry I got here too late. I'm sorry. Several days ago, your father called me up to let me know that you and me were engaged to be married, and he asked me to come and see you so our family could be reunited. That is not true. No, mother. I'm so sorry, son. It's all my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. I was late. I didn't make it in time. you to suffer any longer. I know that. I know life will also be hard in China. But you and I have to face it since we chose to be together. You are mine and no one can come between us. Have you forgotten those days in South Korea? Since we started this relationship, there's no distance between us. You're worrying over nothing. You staying with me has been the best support. I couldn't ask for more. I'll never let you go no matter what you look like. That accident that almost killed you is all in the past. I don't want to hear about it again. When I thought I was going to lose you, I thought that my life would be over. So, from this day onwards, I'll always keep you close. I'll keep an eye on you. There's a terrible secret that I've been hiding for so long. If I tell you the secret, you will never love me again. Miduo, if this secret will only tear us apart, then I don't want to know it. I'd never want to. I just want you to come back. As long as you come back to me, I can forget everything. <sighs> no matter what it is you did, I can and will forgive you. You're a strong woman. You're talented. You know what you want, and you're willing to fight for it. You can be devious sometimes, but you are a good person. I would never hold that against you. You're flawed, but nobody's perfect. I like you not because you're perfect, but because you're Miruo. Will you marry me? Before buying this diamond ring, Leiming asked me a question. If one day you turn fat and ugly, or keep me in the dark, will I still love you? I've thought about it and found that there's only one thing I cannot accept, leaving you. Miruo, I want to be with you to experience all the ups and downs of life, 
to take care of you, to pardon all your wrongs, and to grow old together. Me to Dad forgave me before he died. I tried everything I could to cover up the evil I've ever done. But he forgave me anyway, just like that. The only person who truly cared for me most is gone now. And the person I want to see most is you. Zilliang, <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left you when you needed me the most. I shouldn't have let you carry all this pain alone. together this time. I promise. No matter what happens, I'll never leave you again. You don't have to live your life hiding that secret. 
No one can threaten you with it, and not a single thing can hurt you anymore. You can bear your soul to anyone. Fatty, at long last you're back. Why are you so quiet? Yiming, why did you have to save me? When Yachi kidnapped me, if I happened to die that time, Shaoliang would not have known about my plastic surgery. His dad wouldn't have left in a rage. Maybe that way, Shaoliang would have loved me forever. Then everyone would have a happy ending. Don't you think? What about me? You have made so many sacrifices for me. If I had died, it would probably be a good thing for you as well. Get up. If you can't let go of him, then I'll take you to him. I'll ask him to forgive you. So get up. You have the courage to die for him, but not the courage to face him. He may not want to see us, but we can always hope. You're right. I'm no longer me, Mei Li. I am me, Duo. I have become stronger than before. So I should hang on and not give up. Thank you, Lei Ming, for your words of encouragement. You always help motivate me to keep trying. <sighs> Lei Ming, take me to Shaoliang now. <sighs> there! Do you see it? Zoom in, hurry! Oh yes, I see it. Look. Do you see her eyes and her nose? And her jaw, they're all fake. She really went to great lengths to do this. What's all the fuss about? Why aren't you working? Miduo, sorry, just ignore them. How is Xiaoliang doing? Everyone in the company's talking about you. You've become a laughingstock here. I think it'd be better for you to go home. The truth is already out. There's no point in hiding from this. I just want to see Xiaoliang again. Could you please deliver a message for me? He's very angry right now. If you want to talk to him, you should wait till things get better. I'm aware of how bad things are right now. But if I don't give it a try, I might never get a chance again. Thank you so much, Xi Wen. It's very nice of you to care about me. I'll be fine. I'll wait for him right here. I know how you feel. Back then, when I was caught carrying a fake bag, I thought it was such a disgrace. I never thought I'd get over it, but I didn't give up. He will show up any minute now and talk to you. I'm sorry, Miss Miduo. We received orders from Mr. Xiao to escort you out of here. I guess I'll go home now.
总是在哭泣，在十二月被相识秘密。我帮你擦去那眼角的泪滴，却我难不到你的心底。都是好天气，六月的蝉鸣透露出我的心情。我提醒我自己，好朋友完美的距离，害怕终究要和你分离。知道你的心，它为此震动，而我已欣赏，只为你守候，就只言不留。但时间已解开了结。是你的朋友。